in this presentation of skin cancer treatment complications, we have an 83-year-old man with recurrent squamous cell carcinoma of the scalp despite previous resection with adjuvant radiotherapy follow-up. The main and largest area of squamous cell carcinoma was resected under local anaesthetic. Unfortunately, the underlying periosteum was heavily involved with tumour, resulting in its removal and exposure of underlying bone. The best way to cover exposed bone is by using a skin flap. However, in this case, that was not possible due to atrophy and tightness of the scalp, as well as due to the previous flap performed and the adjuvant radiotherapy. The defect was closed as much as possible in a side-to-side -side fashion and the remainder of the defect was covered with a thin, full thickness skin graft. As to be expected, the graft of a bare bone did not survive, resulting in a necrotic area. A wound such as this requires regular dressing with a hydroactive gel such as intracyte or solicyte gel. A wound such as this should heal via secondary intention, though may take 8 to 12 weeks.